Hi YouTube, it's Akila, obviously. And today I'm just gonna answer some of your questions so we can continue to get to know each other. Maybe one day we're gonna date, I don't know, just see where this goes. Here's a question from Sarah Fetterbush on Twitter. She says, how did you decide to start making YouTube videos? My friend Nessa was making videos back in 2007, I think, and I just thought they were so cute. They were like little vlogs for her live journal account. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. I wanna do this. And my life was super boring because I was in college. I was really bad at it for a long time and then really committed to it in 2010. And ever since then, it's just gotten better and better. Blue Heists asks, would you rather have to straighten your hair every morning or never eat chocolate again? God, that's hard. I would rather never eat chocolate again. I can't wake up in the morning early enough to do my hair. It's just not a thing that's gonna happen. I like to sleep to the very last minute. Goodbye, chocolate. Oh, that Becca asks, what are your favorite clothing stores? And am I a thrifter? I kind of thrift, but not really. I would say I do a lot more factory outlet store. The shirt I think came from, God, I always forget the name of the store. They have the Mad Men collection. <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Banana Republic. I think it was originally like, 50 bucks, but I got this shirt for like 10 bucks. It's not exactly thrifting. I like to buy cheap things so I can buy lots of things. So I love Forever 21, like Zara and H&M. Horridly Unfunny or Sabrina asks, do you have any book or TV show recommendations? I feel like they're all things that people already watch. Obviously Mad Men. I love Scandal if you've not seen any of my parody videos. I feel like the third season was a little... Book recommendations, this is so underrated, but I think for the right reasons. Dean Koontz has this like reputation of being super preachy. I guess that's probably true for his newer books, but he has a series called Odd Thomas and I really like it. And he's still coming out with books for it. It's not one of those books that just becomes a boring romance, love circle, love triangle. Mark Anthony Harrison asks, what is my favorite meal to eat? Tim knows this really well, but we get Mexican at least once a week. Burritos and chips and guac. Yeah, I think, I think that's about right. Crazy Cuttlefish asks, if you could change any law in the US, what would it be and why would you change it? Any state that bans gay marriage, I would change it so that they can't do that because it's unconstitutional to give some people rights and other people not. I'd like to think most of you agree with me. If not, get off my video. Alicia Hatmaker asks, how do you feel about Pinterest? A long time ago, I hated it. I thought it was just for moms, not cool moms, just moms who collect things, trolls and beanie babies. I was actually on Pinterest today. It was a lot like Tumblr. It seemed like people were curating better stuff. I don't have a problem with it. It's just not my go-to, Tumblr for life. What's the best song ever, asks Estrella V. Obviously. I don't know why I started with obviously, because I don't know. I'm gonna go with I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys because it spent the most days at number one on TRL when that was a show. It's it's catchy. Love a good Backstreet song. Indubitably Zara asks, what's your favorite thing about being a YouTuber? Answering comments and just seeing the comments on videos. I think it's really funny and fun to see how smart and interesting you all are and how much you like the videos or don't like the videos and what you have to say. It, it helps me make better stuff with Tim. I like these moments where we get to, you know, sit down together, talk. We're gonna go on a date after this, is <laughs> what I'm saying. Uh, we should get out of here. Fatal Flaws Music, or Ian Reed asks, would you want to collab or something? And also, what is your dream job? I would collab with you. I don't know anything about you, but it says you do music, so maybe we could do a cute cover. I can play ukulele a little bit and sing a little bit. My dream job is comedy, doing anything in comedy. Right now, I'm, I feel like I really like where I am, doing YouTube videos and writing sketches and taking classes and sketch at UCB. Eventually, I'd like to be on a TV show doing comedy. As long as I'm in the realm of comedy, I'm happy because I like making people smile. Peace Tiffany asks, how many relationships have you been in, including long or short? Hmm, let me think. Is that one high school? It kind of counts. Two in college. Three in college. Five? Most of those were really short. I'll, I'll put it that way. Most of those were extremely short or like summer fling things. Ava Freeman asks, what hair products do you use every day? Also, I love you. Oh, I love you too, Ava. That's so sweet. Hair products. I use water. Carol's daughter, they have this like greasy stuff that makes it your hair moisturized because my hair just sucks in. It's like very absorbent. I'd say that's about it. Tumblr questions. It's getting pretty exciting. Twin Beaks asks, what's the first thing you think of when you wake up? Going back to sleep? 
Outdated Androgy 3005 asks, knowing that you are a huge Scandal fan, as am I, if you were in Olivia's position, would you sleep with the POTUS and constantly be dragged into bullshit or would you try to avoid and move on with your life? They're like my OTP. I want them to get together. But if I personally was Olivia Pope, I don't think I could handle being in these like crazy fights and like emotional roller coaster relationship with the president. I mean, she's been doing this for years now, like before he got elected, right? So I think that I would, at this point, I would be looking for other people, maybe Jake, he's very cute. Anonymous asks, hey, this is the first Anon. We got, hey, Kayla, my name is Jasmine, and you're not anonymous. <laughs> and I'm from California, I'm in high school, and I'm incredibly lost and confused when it comes to careers. I really like what you do because I want to travel and live in New York when I grow up. So here's my question. Can you give high school advice to someone who is kind of introverted, but wants to do what you do? Also, can you talk a little bit about what you do? Thanks a billion. Okay, I feel like I do a lot, like a variety of things. So if you're talking about YouTube videos, I think being introverted in a lot of ways helps because talking to a camera doesn't feel so weird to people who are like, they don't like being around people. So I've noticed a lot of really successful YouTubers are very introverted. So if you want to get started doing that, make a video, put it up, put yourself out there. Writing and doing comedy and contributing to places, start now. Don't wait until you're in college or graduated because there are people gaining on you right now. <laughs> the internet needs content. So if you've got something to say, write it down. You'll only get better if you start now. That's my advice. Follow your dreams. Ah, real life <laughs> asks, what advice slash words of encouragement do you have for someone who lives with her ex-boyfriend and his family? The ex no longer wants her around and cheated and doesn't have anywhere else to go. Oh man. Advice would be focus all of your energy on getting the hell out of there. Work two jobs if you have to. Make friends so you can spend as much time away as possible, but that seems like a really negative environment to be in. Just get out of there. You're too young to be worried about staying with some terrible person who would cheat on you. Anonymous asks, what was the worst date you ever went on and why? It's an okay Cupid date. We met at a bar and he seemed super nice. And he had a few friends there, like they had been visiting from Australia, I guess. And it seemed like a pretty normal like hangout. And then he was like, hey, let's go to this party. So we did, and it was a warehouse party like on girls. And then he went to the bathroom and snorted a bunch of coke and asked for some sexual favors. And I just ran out the door into an unmarked cab and then went home and went to bed because it's like, this is this is my actual life. This is why I don't internet date. And then the whole next day, he texted me asking if I would buy him Chinese food. So I'd say that's probably like top of the worst dates. Old Face Jeffy asks, so living in New York, I'd imagine there's a lot of diverse cultures. What's that like? I'd imagine it's really interesting and cool. It is. I experience most cultures in New York by eating food. I think um, most of my cultural experiences are going to new places that we didn't have in Kentucky. Like Cuban food is great. Jamaican food is awesome. Anonymous writes, hey Akila, obviously, that's me. I'd love some of your advice on dating. I'm that girl who's never had her boyfriend slash a relationship in the friend group, and everyone is always surprised by this. I'd love your tips on getting out there in a big city and or how to feel more comfortable being single. After a while, listening to single ladies just started to make me feel dark and twisty. <laughs> much love from a northern neighbor. Oh man, yeah, you can't listen to too much Beyonce when you're single. I mean, it's a double-edged sword because it is very empowering, but on the other hand, she has a lot of sexy music that wants you to be in a relationship, so it's like, whoa, what's happening? Advice for getting out there. One of my really cute girlfriends, she's like a model, she was like, hey, you know what I do? I take a book to a bar with me around like six or seven, and then like guys will approach me and ask me about the book, and then I can tell if they're like smart and read or if they're like terrible. So. That could be a way to go. I've met a lot of cool people in my comedy classes. So maybe if you're like into art or something, you just take some classes and you might meet someone that way. But I think it's harder to meet people in a big city than like if you're in college or like high school and it's a small town and it's easy to know people. Don't give up. Hang out on Tumblr, man. <laughs> Makes things a lot less lonely. Another anonymous asks, I'm going into my junior year of college and I've never had a boyfriend. 
How do I meet the good boys? Refer back to my last answer. That's how you meet the good boys. If you see anything with a fedora, run in the opposite direction. <laughs> I'm the worst at dating advice, but I said I'd answer anything, so this is what you're getting. Another anonymous asks, Hey Akila, I love your vids. I'm feeling kind of down tonight, so I just wanted to ask, what do you do when you feel down? Oh man, well, I am a big crybaby, so I cry. I have a few playlists on Spotify. There's a really good one called Boo Hoo, which has a lot of good sad songs, but they're not just sad. Some of them are uplifting, but just slower. I watch my favorite movies. I really love Pretty Woman. Watch that a few times a year. Whatever you like doing, if you don't feel like doing it, do something else you like. Advice. <laughs> I'm the worst friend you've ever had. Utopia of Dystopia asks, if you could put your personality into an emoji, which one would you choose? The pizza, like, <laughs> obviously. I'm fun, people love me. I can be cheesy sometimes. Enthusiastically Indifferent asks, Hey Akila, I'm in my first year of university doing a digital media degree, and while I'm loving it, but I keep worrying about getting a job at the end of it all. How have you ever felt like this, and if so, how did you cope with it? You're gonna get a job. Digital media is everything right now. The most important thing now is to get as much experience as you can. Yeah, I didn't really worry about it, and I graduated into the recession. No one had a job when I graduated, and I just didn't care, which is weird, because like money, don't stress too much. Everything takes time and everything will happen. Graduate, get your money, girl. Live the Passionate Life asks if I'll do a Draw My Life video. Maybe. Anonymous asks, you are so, so pretty and so funny. I have a huge lesbian crush on you. Oh my God. Thanks. It's not a question, but thanks. <laughs> and the last question is another anonymous person. They say, you seem to be the person to ask about this. Any advice on networking? Yes, have cards on you. That's always a great thing to pass on. People like to collect those. Know the best things about yourself so you can actually give them insight into who you are instead of just being like, oh, please hire me. If you're on the internet and you're asking somebody to follow you back, but they don't say why you should follow them back, like, are they gonna hire you just because you want them to? No. Tell them who you are. Also, don't just talk about yourself. Be interested in what they have to say and listen and learn from them. You'd be surprised how far that goes with people. Thank you all so much for submitting questions. I feel like I should be doing this more often, but we're getting on, right? One day we're gonna be like, hey, do you wanna take this to the next level? Maybe in the next video, who knows? Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Awkward kisses, awkward kisses. Hi, I'm Akila. Queen of awkward kisses. Okay, it was the coolest. <laughs>